Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Wednesday update recorded on February the 14th, Valentine's Day. Well, across the country at the moment, high pressure is still in charge, but a cold front coming in on Thursday brings in rain to the west coast, a little bit for Southland, but it's a temperature drop coming for Southland and Otago, coastal areas of about 10 degrees on where you are today. That's probably the most noticeable feature of tomorrow's weather. But for the North Island, underneath that ridge of high pressure, there is not a lot of change coming. In fact, if anything, it's going to get even warmer in the next few days ahead. Places are going to be getting up into the late 20s or potentially going into the low 30s. So just keep that in mind. The north of the country is still pretty hot. And we're still seeing some low pressure up in the tropics. Um, quite a lot of low pressure, in fact, up there. But because of this big belt of high pressure coming out of Australia and crossing us, at this stage, there's no chance of those rainmakers coming down our way. So we've got a dry forecast. In fact, we're now getting a little concerned that droughts could be on the cards. We've got the 15-day rainfall map at the end of this broadcast for you. But let's take a look at this cold front coming in. This is it here across uh, Thursday and then going into Friday. So you can see that it really does fall apart as it moves up towards the North Island. This is Friday evening, and that's a pretty weak front with high pressure behind it. So it's not going to last very long. Let's have a look at that again as far as rainfall is concerned. And most of that wet weather along the west coast where you're talking about 100 to 120 millimetres for you coming through. Around the North Island, the blue and the green shows a few downpours that might form here and there, a few showers about, otherwise mostly dry. So of course, if you get a downpour, that's helpful if you need rain, but you could be just right next to it and completely miss out. So that's what we're seeing in the forecast. By the way, a big thank you to the weather company who are giving us some of these new animations that we can share with you. So let's get into the forecast. Here is Thursday. There is the cold front. That's at its strongest around about lunchtime Friday, sorry, Thursday, excuse me, with some heavy falls as it moves up around Haast and Fox Glacier. Over in Southland, you will get a little bit of rain or showers, but for the most part, it's, a, it's going to be a fairly dry day. We will be seeing a temperature drop of about 10 degrees on where you are today. So certainly a little cooler, but nothing that you can't handle. And further northwards, a bit windy through Cook Strait and Wellington. Otherwise, the winds, they're fairly light. So on Friday, as we just talked about, that front falls apart. Too much high pressure around it, and it gives up. Unfortunately, for places like Nelson and Marlborough, that rain won't really get over there. You might get a shower or a brief spit in the Nelson region, but it's not going to be much. Certainly not enough to wet the ground and really make any difference. Over on the western side, that incoming high does start to dry things out. So it's a lovely day down in Southland, coastal Otago, seeing those temperatures going back up again um, by maybe four or five degrees on where you were on Thursday. So it's like autumn, really. We are seeing an autumn weather pattern now starting to show up in the south. But in the north, still pretty warm, and those easterly winds carry on. There may be a shower or two. Don't get too excited. They're not going to be very heavy or long-lasting. So as we go into the weekend, we've got a possible storm up here around the Cook Islands. Whether it's a tropical cyclone or not, um, it probably doesn't really matter at that stage because it's either going to be a bit of a rough storm or a low-end cyclone. It doesn't look like it's going to develop into anything too major, and it is starting to pull away from many places as we get into Saturday. Doesn't pose a risk to New Zealand because of this ginormous block of high pressure. It's a few thousand kilometres wide. That's not going to be um, easy to get through. So those lows are going to stay up there, but it means an easterly wind carries on for the north and a westerly wind comes back in for the south. By Sunday, those westerlies develop a little more around New Zealand. There may be a few afternoon thunderstorms or just some isolated Heavy showers anywhere from about Central Plateau over towards King Country, Waitomo, maybe even northern parts of Taranaki. Otherwise dry and fairly hot because of those westerlies kicking in, eastern areas are going to warm up. But it is all ahead of a cold change coming in on Monday. Or, well, actually maybe Tuesday. It depends on where you live. Certainly the North Island will be pretty warm again on Monday. These eastern areas got a high chance of getting up and towards the um, upper 20s maybe getting into the 30 degree mark, just depends on exactly the cloud cover. The cold front is moving up here, about lunchtime lies over the middle of the South Island and behind it, a colder change coming back in. So Mother Nature's um, air conditioning gets switched back on. So let's take a look at the 15 day rainfall. Now, the white lines I've included to just sort of make it a little clearer. Some people do get confused because there's two sets of blue. The blue that's heavy is surrounded by purple and red. So just think of that when there's, you know, 
purple and red around it, that's more alarming maybe. So that gives you a better idea. That's where the heavy rain is. Whereas the light stuff in the pale blue is always surrounded by the greens and the yellows. So there's not much rain coming here for a big chunk of the country. Some heavy downpours here, that's a chance for some of you to get anywhere between 20 and 60 millimeters, but most of that's over the very top of the mountains. Once you get into the bigger sort of regions like Waikato, Auckland, Northland, Bay of Plenty, Hawke's Bay, Wellington, Wider Upper, and then you get into Nelson, Marlborough, Canterbury, and parts of Otago, those areas are all looking very dry between one millimeter and maybe 10 millimeters over the rest of the month. So that's the reason why potentially getting into drought territory for some places now, especially areas like Marlborough, which are very, very dry for a number of months, and we're seeing places like the Bay of Islands and the eastern side of Northland looking especially dry, and Wellington as well, probably one of the biggest main centers caught up in the dry weather. So not a lot of rain on the way, unless you live on the west coast, plenty of rain. Classic El Nino setup to be seeing a rainfall map like this. So that's the rest of February, not a lot of wet weather for the eastern and northern parts of both main islands, but really most of the North Island looking pretty dry, except for that part of the circle there around Taranaki and Central Plateau, where a few downpours and thunderstorms are going to help lift up those totals, but they will be hit and miss. Not everybody in that circle will get the rain that you need. So not trying to alarm you, but just letting you prepare that we do have this dry weather. This is what we were worried about last year when we kept talking about El Nino. Not so much the concern in spring, the concern was always going to be in summer, especially as we go in towards autumn, because an El Nino set up in summer is a little bit like autumn because you get more of these westerly winds, southwest setups. That's the reason why Southlanders are getting a fair amount of wet weather across this summer and temperature fluctuations, but you only have to go a little further north and it's a lot drier. That is all from me. We'll keep you updated with the rain. We'll hopefully see some silver linings soon. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow, Thursday for our next update.